Ahem. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and old, far off land, oh fucking fuck. In a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives. It was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank to the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer held relics of the past, people gathered at the spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Holy shit, is that a fucking gallows? Yes, this is where it begins in the sit down of Rogueport. The tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the thousand year door starts here. Can a Goomba even fit in that? Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. Ah, shit. I come all the way out here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it all, all I see is that this town has a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Do you mean me? Yeah. Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. What are you buying? Oh, well, um... It's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock in it that will only open to a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Because I'm dirty and dank. Ooh. I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever it is inside. I'm sure that whatever's in there would be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what's inside. What's in the box? Um, all right, what's the harm? I'll try to open it. That was easy. This is Nico B, here with a Let's Play a Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Oh fuck, it's gonna do it again, isn't it? No! No! Go back! God damn it, I hate when the fucking Talisker does this! Go in there! Yes, load my non existent save file. Oh, okay. Hopefully I'm safe here. Yes! Yes, guys. It is time. It felt like this was a good time. With the new Paper Mario coming out here shortly, it seems like it finally was a good time to check out the classic Paper Mario game that everybody talks about, The Thousand Year Door. Uh, now I'm gonna tell you guys, I have never uh, experienced Paper Mario and I don't know jack shit about it, to be honest. Other than it's 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 more of an RPG, unlike a lot of other Mario games. And that's all I know. And that the, the style is paper. I know technically there's one that actually came before this. There was like a Paper Mario for the N64. But people say this one is like the best one. So I, and it, it doesn't really matter what order you play them in, at least not too much. So I uh, should just check out this one if I ever got around to it. And this seems like the best time, all right? Everyone's hyped about the new game. Hopefully it doesn't suck because apparently after 
this one or the one that came after it, which I think was like Super Paper Mario, the series started not getting not good. So I'm hoping uh, that it uh, gets good again. But what I'm curious about is just what was what are people so hyped about this game? Why is this game so beloved by so many people? Well, we're gonna find out. I gotta say that that intro kept throwing me off though. I actually had to ask my mods. I'm like, how do I handle this? Because is this gonna be the same intro that's shown at the start when I start a new game? Apparently it isn't. So I was like, all right, I guess I'll just read it out. Normally I don't say anything until we get to the title screen, but this this game's already throwing me off my usual MO. But I will say just based on the colors and the, the scenery and everything, uh, this seems like a very sort of happy game too. And I think I, I think I kind of need that right now. I think a lot of us kind of need that right now. It's just kind of a, a fun, happy game. I mean, there was a gallows in that intro scene, which was a little uh, surprising. Who was that for? Would a Goomba fit in there? <laughs> Was the Goomba even hot, tall enough to fit inside that? Does he even have a neck? Now that I think about it. I like this music here at the start here. It's very, very upbeat. But yeah, this also, I mean, it doesn't look like there's going to be any voice acting, which I kind of expected. So this also give me an opportunity to uh, maybe get, twist, whip out some new voices or some old classics. Because I haven't really done that. And I haven't really had a game where I've done that for quite a while, honestly. So many of the games I've played recently have all been vo fully voice acted, so. And I get to whip out of my body of voice, which I only get to whip out on some occasion. I mean, it's not a perfect body of voice, but it's my body of voice. I go to, all right? Don't you judge me. By the way, you might also notice, for those of you who are actually familiar with this game, uh, this game may look a little sharper than it did when you when you played it on the GameCube. Um, and I'm actually using, uh, I'm playing this on the Dolphin, and I'm using a uh, HG texture pack, which was uh started by a guy named invader like seven years ago like this has been like seven years in the making um it's still not i don't think totally done but i think he's also gotten help from other people like it's after like i think he started and then it became a bit of a collab effort and people have contributed their own like edited assets to the game to make it look sharper and crisper so but it looks really good so far i mean just the just how sharp the edges are and i, I saw what it looked like before too and it was definitely it, just a lot more jagged looking but this might be a little bit like majora's mask because according to the uh the list of textures it has about like 56 percent of the game's textures have been replaced with high res ones so they're we might occasionally run into some low res ones but I mean, I, I don't think it'll be too, too bad. I Hopefully too jarring. Like we did something similar with Majora's Mask and it wasn't too bad, honestly, when we ran to like the low res stuff. But I figure at least help uh, elevate the experience some and also maybe give a new little twist on a game that uh, a lot of you guys have probably already played quite a bit. Oh, I can't use the D-pad on this freaking menu though, which is kind of weird. Only the joystick. But yeah, like I said, I do not know much of anything about this game. This is definitely a bit of a, I'm just kind of going off what other people are saying. They're like, this is the game you should play. I don't know anything about it. its story other than that little intro cutscene where they talk about a door and a treasure and there are Goombas and everyone's kind of cute and 2D apparently. But all right, guys, let's uh, go ahead and see what this uh, all the hubbub is about in this game. Let's get started. New game. Name this file. Okay. Nico Bizzle the Dino Sizzle. I don't have to have that many spaces, so I'll just go with Nico. Nico B. It's a me, Nico. Saving settings, do not touch this lot. Do not touch it. <laughs> it's a Mario's house. Yeah, it seems like one of those games that even if there are some low res moments, it's probably not gonna look that much different from the sharper ones. Uh, mail call. It's a flying Koopa. I do like the 2D. <laughs> the fact that everyone is actually 2D. Hey, it's, a, it's a, my little brother, Luigi. Is he my older brother? I don't know. Whatever he is. Are we twins? Hey, bro. Check it out. I let the little bit of speech arrive for you. Luigi, how many times I told you not to touch my motherfucking mail? Give me that shit. I just need to you. How's that sound? <laughs> oh, my... That's right. Mario usually never says anything, right? That's kind of how it goes. Actually, did Luigi say anything in Luigi's Mansion when I played that? I don't know if he did. I guess whoever's not in control, whoever you're not controlling is the one not talking. Him. <clears throat> now, let, let, let's see here. Hurry up, Luigi. I ain't got all day. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into a position of a mystical map, a treasure map, actually. I guess that's the... Oh, I thought she, uh, some, some bad was happening there. She was looking in the box and g just like glowing. I'm like, oh God, she's gonna get sucked into the ne media dimension or some shit, but nah, she's fine. It's inside a box I got from an old merchant in a rogue town in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? Wow. 
Wow, Princess Peach, you think I got nothing better to do than to help you do your stupid shit? Running more of your fucking errands? I mean, I do have time to do that, but that's beside the point. Include the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That but means you must come, Peach. Wow. She's getting a little entitled, I feel. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map here and with the letter. Check it out. Oh, that's super great. Thanks, Luigi. Thank you, Peach. Oh, yes. It's so detailed. Very paper. Oh, hey, a little flicker there. Paper Mario in a thousand year door. I do like this, the aesthetic, though. It's, this is sort of like a the type of aesthetic that would... I think it's kind of timeless, right? Like, I think kind of Wind Waker is that same way. Do, or do I need to press something? That's the thing about like super cartoony graphics is that they can sort of just go on forever. Like it'll never not look good. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. Bowser's here, too. All right. This is... I think we all know this is probably going to go. <laughs> Let me guess. Bowser's going to come out to steal the fucking princess. Uh, excuse me, sir. Somebody's snoring. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Roadport. Oh! Oh, great. Oh, it's so pretty. It looks kind of smelly. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. <laughs> the little bombs with the eye patches on. Oh, I don't like to look at this town. What are the freaking toads doing here? This is a quite the vacation I was expecting. Uh, I must apologize, sir. Arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogue Porter way here, did I not? Eh, yeah, what's that, Dude, I'm trying to tap that, man. Get off my ass, all right? Oh, it's for the peach. Yeah, I got you, man. I got you. Sam, I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting for you, here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's fine, man. I've been through a lot to stuff. Oh, you're 2D2. Wow, I thought you were 3D. You almost fooled me. Okay, bye-bye. Good thing I like 2D2. Oh, God! Oh, okay, I can barely do that. Oh, God, I lost health already. Well, that was a good way to stop this. <laughs> I changed my mind. Come back. Come back, little boat man. Oh, okay. I can only control it with the joystick, too. I was really hoping for the D-pad, seeing as I am 2D. It's actually interesting. He, he's 2D, but you can see there's, like, when he rotates... Very slight, like, there is a little, oh God! a little bit of 3D to his, like, his hat and stuff. Like, the pop out just ever so slightly. <laughs> That's cool. I cannot face forward, though. I, th this is forward, apparently, which is still sideways. Oh, I can hop. Okay. Fuck me! Okay, I'm going to die before I even get off this freaking pia. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, what is that? Save point? Hello, little bomb. Oi, welcome to the rogue port. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got Gus coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that C block to save. Cause that thing about life is, you never know when you're gonna kick the old bucket. Ah, so surprisingly dark, little bomb. I see why I kill you in the other games. Okay. Boop, boop. This block to save all events you've experienced so far. Even if your game ends here, you continue from the last point you say that. And if you die by falling off the pier eight times. Anytime you find a block like this in your adventure, be sure to save. Save all game progress. Okay, I'm done. That's a saving. Thank you. You know, I should really probably change the damn location of the memory card so it doesn't have my fucking real name show up in the top left corner every time. I'd have to black that out. But whatever. That's fine. I'll figure it out later. Anyway, how's it going? What do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? You mean the only person that looks different from bombs and mushrooms here? Nah. I ain't seen nothing like that. Nope. I remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Yo, you money? Or she your girlfriend? Nah, I mean, it's, a, it's it's kind of a back and forth kind of thing. By which I mean it's very one-sided and she never reciprocates. Okay, come on, man. Get off my ass. I just want to be loved. Uh, oh. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. 
Is that the... Uh, oh. That's not a princess. That's... Uh, oh, come off it, yeah, yeah, head. I know it's tough for you, but you don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walk around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking. So be a good girl and tell us what you know. Right now. Uh, okay. Uh, I seen a voice because of reasons. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Eat. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand out to our fortress. As in command, Lord Crump, put on it. Lord Crump. It's a little Goomba with a, with a minor summon on. Uh, no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll, I'll scream. Really? All right, yeah, I definitely want to get out of here now. It's the fastest I move. Oh, I got a hammer. Right, what do my other buttons do? Oh, look at this. I even got stats and everything. Like an art, like I am, like this is a real RPG or something. Okay, I can, I can use the D-pad in this menu at least. Mailbox, SP, press X to check your mail. Apparently I have no mail because I'm not getting anything. Oh, it's the DS! It just hit me. Was the DS out? Wait, wait a minute. The DS didn't come out until years after the GameCube, right? Right? Was it that close to the GameCube's release? Did this, inf it, did this influence things? Racer Snake, she texts her thing. I don't know. I don't know enough about... About Mario history. Oh! Only way, you scallywag. Move, you ever loving, ever loving bones. Oh, yeah, nice to see you too. Hey, how's it going? Blimey, if I cook it. Yeah, ain't nothing so far as watching some poor bloke have it out with his with missus, eh? Am I right, mate? I don't know. I don't say anything. Hello. Yikes, was that trouble over there? Probably best not to get involved, huh? I wouldn't meddle with other people's problems in this town if I had an extra life. <laughs> an extra life. Oh, is that the thing we got to acknowledge? Hey, how's it going? You're my beat shield now. Get him, plumber man. Like I go anywhere with you, smutty lunatics like you. Huh, not likely. Oh, what do I step into? I just a tourist. Well, what do you think you'll do and jump? You think you can screw up my plans? I don't know you people. What, I, 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 God, so or something. Looks like I'm off to give you a little taste of the old crump a bop. crump a bop. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We entered in like a Pokemon battle. Can't flee this fight. You're going to die. Uh, okay, I'm new to RPGs. How do I do this? Battle time, Mr. Bands. Find a way to beat this freak out of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with a hammer. Oh, okay. I'm very good at that. Oh, jump. Okay, hammer. Hammer time. <laughs> tactics. What tactics do? No, no way. <laughs> uh, okay. I guess we'll start with jumping. Press X just for stopping on an enemy. Oh, oh, okay, okay. It was a slight delay. I wasn't expecting. Yes, doing awesome. Don't let up. I did one whole damage to him. I, I don't know if that, that's better go. Uh oh. Ah! Oh, I just let his butt crack between, right to my face. Right, let's try it again. Damn, okay. Timing. I gotta, I gotta figure out the timing for that. Ow. I'm in date. I've got half health. Are you already so hurt? I fell in the pit a few times. And I just get, get, get off my back. I'm gonna hit you with a hammer. Uh, hold left and hold left and release it when it lights up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, two old damage. Ooh. Get him on the ropes. Keep wearing on him. Are you sure about that? Cause I, ah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do that. Let's do the jump thing again. Hey, there we go. Like, oh god, he melted. And you did it! You did it! Yay! You got star points! Cool, I guess? Okay, so I need to go to the hospital now. Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. Is this a fucking win? What the hell did we ever get star points? It ain't Mario again. Shut up, all right! When you get 100 points to go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Uh, it's just EXP. Why don't you call it that? We gotta call it some weird name. I got nine star points. Good for me. <laughs> Okay, so you got a couple of decent shots in, I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... Let's go time! Uh-oh. Oh, you got a lot of henchmen, I see. They all very 2D. Oh. Punish you! It's punishment time! Shut up, you! Uh-oh. Oh, that's a bad... Ah! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 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 God. What are they doing? Quick, this way! Oh, that was surprisingly easy. 
<laughs> oh, what a bunch of loons! Just stick out of here, what do you say? I'm gonna go see what they're doing. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hello! <laughs> hey, I'm a helping. I'm a helping meet him up. Oh, that's right. Get him. Get him good, guys. Guys! Guys, I'm not him! Oh, he stuck a fake mustache on me! Guys! Ah! Oh, we're getting him good, yeah. He sounds a lot less Italian than he did a few moments ago. Okay, uh, what is this? Is there anything? No? I wonder if I have like a, a Goomba or something I can eat. Hey! Come on, I need something to heal myself. I'm gonna die! All right, let's go up here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Uh -huh. Stop! Wait. See, like, I think those guys... Yeah, see, he's high res, but the other guys are low res. But it's not that jarring. Uh, where did they go? Oh, you, Dawson, did you see them? Didn't need anyone. Hello? Oh, y'all crud. They bolted. Yeah. God dang scallywax. Hey, oh, guys, the gallows. Wow, mister, you totally see me. Thanks. Hey, I've just got to give you a little reward. Oh, God, please don't kiss me. Oh, no, you kissed me. What the hell would I just say? No, I was afraid of that. See, I, I, I got my eyes only for one girl, even if she has no eyes for me. My name's Goombella. Oh, how very original. We add an L to the end of your name, and so it makes you a girl. Shut up, my parents were creative, all right? I'm a student at the University of Goom. <laughs> oh, you're serious. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? I am, uh, silent protagonist. Mario? What, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. You must sign my right foot. Uh, sure. Anything for a fan. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you yeah, just rolled into town yourself, right? Yeah, pretty much. Like I always do. Me, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rope Boy, so I should have expected it, but jeez, come on. Ain't nothing like a damn pamphlet. This place ain't nothing like the brochure. I never come to a place like this for where was some legendary treasure here. Oh, oh hey, it's, about, it's set to Men in Black in the back. And hey, those those funny characters from that uh, Sunshine game that I have no part of. What, you looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 Marco, what you got there? Eh, hey, I got the map. Oh my gosh, it's, it, it's not a treasure map? Yeah, tell me where you got that. I just raised my hand there. You didn't tell me anything. Princess Peach, the hell? Great hoogly boogly if it isn't. Oh, great Master Mario. Wait, who's that? There's a going bit of a quinky dink. But bumping into one another in this sort of place. Ah, ha, ha, eh. Eh. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Oh, look, there's a bird back there. Burgy bird. Ah, yeah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. I swear to God, she never quits yanking your chain, does she? Ah, poor thing. And she told you she'd meet you here at Roadport. Intriguing. You asked me where Princess Peach is? Yeah, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? Oh, good day. Take the bows of fucking Gata. Good day to wait to go, Goombas, and the fucking toads, or whatever. You guys know you can't take uh, uh, your eyes off her for like two seconds. I took my arm, uh, I only took my arm for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. What did I say? That's what I was telling you. You never listen. You know how strong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But, point, I fear we must embrace possibility that she may never return. <laughs> wow, you really quick to shrug that shit off. Come on, let's be honest. This shit happens on a weekly basis. But I lost it. What to do? I'm fraught with worry, I tell you. Ah! I'm feeling better with you, Mayor, Mr. Master Mario. Sure, we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Mar Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. Uh, really, me? I believe I'll recline in the end right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps, and do absolutely nothing. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low like it is now. Just drop by in, on in. Oh, uh -huh. yes, anyway, little rest there. We'll fix all your HP. I say the rest of this town's a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Ah, ah, ha, if I say. Um, Princess Peach, did he mention me like the Peach? Mushroom Kingdom Princess? Princess who always gets tired about Bowser, the Koopa King? One rescue? Wait a second. Wait a damn minute, this is crazy! Princess Peach saying you want that, that treasure map? Yeah. Oh, this is like really intense. Where would she have gone? Then do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find a treasure map on her own? Or treasure on her own? Oh, oh, 
I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching about that treasure. We'll show him your map. If he's not looking for the treasure, then maybe he'll catch, catch up to Princess Peach. Great. We're all good then. Let's go, Mario. <gasps> oh, my God. I told you party. I get party members. Oh, I thought it was just going to be me. Cool. Cabell's abilities a primer. Press circle to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Robot Plaza, the center of town in the main business district. District. It's crossroads where many of you will meet, include more than a few shaded characters. Anytime press circle when there's more, no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. What? That's a, that's a Goomfer, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled and mugged. If you press circle when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you what, about him or her. What the hell you know about everybody? We just got here. So just get all that. <laughs> this is no one no. Gumbella can give you hints when she's answered, so ask her for information often. And of course, Gumbella can be quite helpful in battle too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. <laughs> she can also look up enemy HP weaknesses with her tattle ability. Neat. Ah. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, as I got to the town myself, I, uh, I don't actually know where he lives. Let's keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frank, Professor Franklin looks like. Uh, oh God, it is terrifying. I know, right? Okay, sis, I need to, oh, I got HP too, cool. Okay, I need to go heal. Let's go heal up. Hopefully this doesn't cost me any more. Oh my God. Oh, that was a clever transition. That was super cool. Are are. Okay, heal me. Uh, no, oh, what are you up to? Stick about a person as he, as he sings most jovially. <laughs> Who me, you ask about? Ah, oh, I'm called Flavio. And I am, how you say, a traitor, the richest man in Brokeport. Whatever, man, I don't care. But, uh, okay, how do I heal myself? But I go upstairs. Oh, God, I gotta, I gotta hop up each step. <laughs> I get in the bucket. <sighs> Back on the left refuge in this poor town, fill this. I might as well soothe your soul. I cost five coins. Okay, I was like, I was like, I thought it cost a hundred coins. I was like, do I have any money? Yeah, okay, please. Take five of my dollars. A hundred dollars. I steal from the princess's butler. It's like, get in my pocket. We sleep together. Whoa. There's some tightly laid sheets. <laughs> Only a paper could slide between them. You sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. Thank you. Ah, oh, we're in the goddamn demon world because our princess has gotten to. This is quite troubling indeed. Oh, well, not my problem. It's yours now. Yeah, thanks. Oh, uh, the transitions, I uh, like, like, pops up like a, like a, a pop-out book, basically. Can I hop on the, oh, I can. And, okay, from my experience earlier, I can hop. Can I go behind the, oh, God. <gasps> Wow, okay, hi, hello. Listen, there's a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone I'm a walking Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Roadport. Now I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? Heh, <laughs> I'm so sly. Oh god, sorry. Uh, wait, you're supposed to talk. I hit circle. Is that the wrong button? Oh. That's a big Goomba. Goomba, obviously, but... Maybe he thinks he's on the lamb of some way. I mean, why else would he be chilling in the back alley? It's nasty. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I might change my controls. I think I might have adjusted the controls a little bit when I was uh, when I was playing uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, that's right. I that's I remember why because because the GameCube, the square button is the button to go back, not uh not circle like I'm used to. Yeah, I'll have to get used to it. Um, this rope pole is made square, so all the central shopping area, I guess. A lot of regular folks here, but they're also near to us. Venture into the back alleys. Be ready to deal with some nasty swords. Yeah, like this guy. This is a surprising setting for a uh, Mario game. I gotta say, what the hell is this cool cat? Dang, yes, I blew through 100 coins in the parlor. Believe that, bro? But not, ne not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. Odds favor me now. Dad, that's a cool fella, man. That suspicious dude gone. Craves that one big score. But I die lap. I mean, he even did make some money. He just blow it. He depresses me. <laughs> cool cat. Cool as fuck, though. What? Oh, that's it. Wow, that is super, 
super cool transition. Look at the oh, look at these flies. Why are you not fly oh, paper flies? Actually, maybe they are. Oh, I got something. I got a star piece. I was hiding behind this thing. I didn't even, I didn't even hit anything. I just ran into it. Okay, good. The little goodies hidden around the corners. Can I like hop behind you soon? Okay, I learned I need to do that. Okay, what's a star piece? Uh, can I look at it? Uh, oh, 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 here we go. Star pieces Mario's collected. Yeah, so very, very good. Thank you for telling me so much information. I've barely played on a GameCube before, so I don't really know like the GameCube like, does this even have a select button on a GameCube controller? I don't know. I, I gotta guess not, because I, all I can do is pause. Okay, but whatever. Do I have to still have the turbo function on? Oh, yeah, I do. Woo! <laughs> I left that on from Xenoblade Chronicles. That's how I managed to do all the quests of the game. Otherwise, I would have been here for 30 years. Hey, go, buddy. You want to see something cool I can do? Woo! <laughs> smell that? Smells like a pork profile situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star is falling down to shine. No, that's any of your business. That guy's boosting Millie. It's just our propositions. I might make him make him loot. But there's no opportunity. He could really do well in this very business world. But I guess no one in Robo really cut out for the student town life. <laughs> Can I bounce on your head or anything? No? I'm gonna smash you in my hair. Blah, 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 blah. Die! Oh, God, do that! Kill it! Ah. Oh, no, stop! First, frankly, actually, I think a guy by the name lives there on the east side. Just go about east from here. As you enter the town of the harbor, just hang right. So what, what about him? Is this guy still some important me or what? Or what? The fucking hell? Whose skulls are these? Who has human-shaped skulls in this non-human world? It's not for me. And Princess Peach. That's about it. We're the only humans in this fucking... This universe. Yeah, I'm looking for this guy. You rolled me with a Frank Crank car the other day. If they find that junk, give him a wallet for me. That's Goomba the Goomba. He's always grumbling about getting ripped off. He must easy to car, which isn't he... Isn't saying that we should call him, of course. Oh, he's saying we should call him. Okay. Hey, give me your money. Okay, here you go. That was easy. It wasn't even a call. Him. Just do it. It's just stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. Freeze. You two know another, another step. Do come this way. <clears throat> so complete justice bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now. So don't you dare me. <laughs> Swear to God. You hear me? Whatever you do, don't move an edge. Not an edge, you hear? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, idiot, you stepped on it. My poor contact lit. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, uh. I told you not to move, you stupid. Don't your stupid ass work. What were you thinking? Oh, crap. Oh, uh, no, it wasn't me. It was it was Kubella. Hey, what the hell? It's your fault now. I'll buy a new quarter cleans, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. <laughs> Fine, that's your plan, and here's mine. Yeah, oof. I'll go and block the gate to the west side till you bring me a new quarter cleans. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, uh, come on. It's, uh oh. Hey. No, no, let you think of the west part tower till you buy me a new lens. So at the end of the store, I can't cook anything without my contact lenses. <laughs> Ah, my brain's so hot right now. I can cook you with it. Fuck you, bitch. Die. Uh, uh, uh. That's zest. That's zesty. A super skilled toad chef. With that right ingredients, you can make anything. It's like a kitchen magician. I'm like a total close to the kitchen, so I really respect a chef's touch. Probably has to do with my lack of arms. Yeah, I probably has something to do with it, I think. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, it's probably the kitchen. I'm going to steal some of this stuff. Wee wee! Give me some shit hidden in here. Bonk. These are just me just run into stuff. Like I don't think there's anything like I have to. Yeah. Turf turf war between the Pianta Syndicate and the Robos heating up. Appar apparently. Uh, what? A, a turf war? A turf war in my Mario game? Best stay indoors. The hell kind of Mario game is this? It's like em emulated shit. Is Nico Bella gonna come out? We gonna go play bowling and then fuck afterwards? I mean, what's going on, man? Hey, welcome. Welcome to the Toad Brothers Bazaar. Yeah, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, now, just wait a minute. Uh... Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't, we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can't special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Please check back soon. Are you serious? Oh, come on, man. The person to the left. Ugh. 
I always like explaining our shop points system to our new customers, so bear with me. Customers receive one shop point for each purpose purchase they make. You with me so far? Okay, slow down there. <laughs> Save up enough shop points and get prizes and lose some rare items. You'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. Please have a promotion when you say a name explaining it. Okay, don't, please, don't, please don't owl me, man. Want to hear the explanation again? Or the choices are yes, 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 and fuck yes. Uh, okay. Wow, look at all this stuff. You got a mushroom, a... Uh, Ice Storm, Super Shroom, Thunder Rage, Shooting Star, Gold Bars, Life Shrooms, <gasps> more Gold Bars, a Jam and Jelly, oh goody, some sweet tequila, baby, yeah, neat, okay, we got a lot of stuff here, uh, Fright Mask, some of the scary spirit to chase away some enemies away, uh, Sleepy Sheep, temporarily puts all enemies to sleep, immobilizing them, Fire Flower, attacks all enemies with fireballs and burns them, ah, oh, what happened? Days I just put this on for a permanent buff till I got hit or something. Oh, I got a consumable item. Fuck you. Tasty tonic. Tasty medicine cures poison and other ailments. Honey syrup. Uh, restores 5 SP. A sweet snack. And mushroom. A feel good mushroom. Pleasures 5 HP. I don't know if I should buy something or not. I mean, I do have some money. I guess I could go ahead and get a little bit. Got an item. Use items to attack enemies and replenish your HP points. Uh, starts. Choose items from your gear. Okay. Oh, I can only buy one at a time, though. I guess I'll buy some of this, too. Just to start us off with a little something. Oh, I see a big chest up there. Oh, I didn't talk to everybody in here, actually. I think about it. Oh, I used to sail around. We run wild in me younger days. Now I'm a free-form sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. But now I'm a gynecologist. Well, good for you. That's my bomb sailor. He's come around here every time his shit makes part. Boy, I'll blame him. This place has totally cool atmosphere. I'll be regular, too. We got a dot mini game in this Yakuza? No. That guy practically lives here. Must I get up? Like the old regular. As far as I can tell, he's recounting the tales of every love of his life, one by one. Can't you get pal? Ellipses meet scram. Don't talk to me. Thought be that way. So what's this thing anyway? There's real points mean scram. No, I. I know that. And this is the skull stone, the lucky child of my family. I love you, you sparkly thing. It's so fabulous. I wish to give it great big kisses. It never leaves my sight. Never. Oh, well, good for you. I, I, I take it. It's mine now. Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Pauly's place. Humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. No alcohol, though. Yes, of course. Can't go that far, Nintendo. No, we can have a gallows where people fucking get hung and die. But, uh, but a little alcohol in the game is a big no-no. By the way, there's an inn upstairs when you're away. Go on up and racks. What the hell I see? Why, why you have a picture of Bowser up on the wall? Oh, hey, look. It's that tier one character everybody wants to smash next to it. Hey. I have a feeling that wasn't in the original game. <laughs> what if I can get that chest uh, Actually, I don't think I can. Open at 11 a.m. today. Is that time? We have play time. I don't think we, uh... Oh, hey, tattle log. Oh, I'm foes. Okay, so now I just like... Oh my god, there's 124 enemies in this game. It's a lot of people to kill. Look at all this stuff. Is that a giant chain chomp down there? Oh, that's actually the chain chomp that's kept eating me alive whenever I fell off the pier. Oh, Mario's abilities. Run, walk, jump, speak, check, hammer, cancel. His partner's abilities to display stats. Uh, rising star. The higher your star rank, the, the bigger your crowd can be. The bigger my crowd? Like my party member or something? Uh, okay. I'm guessing you can probably equip different ham hammers and stuff and boots. And so this is basically your magic points, right? Uh, boot or badge points. Points required to wear badges. I actually wonder if there's any grinding in this game. Uh, shine sprites. Uh, three can level up an ally. Oh. Again, those are like the stars from uh, Super Mario Sunshine, right? I never actually played that game, but I do know like a little bit about it. Like I've seen some of the, of, uh, the gameplay. Okay, we... I don't think I can get to this uh, chest right here. Oh. Oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's the beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you, bitch. Uh-oh. Mario, you gotta wake up. I gotta steal half the coins. Oh, come on. Oh, are you kidding me? I just... Oh, I just fucking bought stuff with it. I'm so lame. Oh, I hate this town. Dude, I want my money back. No way. Oh, I wish I bought all this stuff then at the shop if I was gonna lose half of my coins. Can I get it back? Can I find the guy who stole it and murder him? This looks like something. I don't know what... I don't know what exactly, but it's something. <laughs> That's Pa Patch, the bob -omb. He's a real salty Santa type. Totally active guy, huh? Oh, okay. I think I'm starting to see the pattern here with these bob guys and the names. Yeah, it looks pretty burly, too. God, I love it. Strong go-getters, huh? Has a toad sailor who works at Roadport Harbor. Harry loves his family so much that it's hard for him to go on long voyages. Has a toad sailor. He seems pretty freaked out about it to be a sailor, but hey... I always hear him worrying about his brother, so maybe that's why he's so tweaked. You know, speaking of which, don't you don't exactly worry about Luigi much, do you? <laughs> huh? 
Uh, oh yeah, my brother. Yeah, that guy. Well, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, meanwhile, I'm a bit down. My old brother left poor just the other day. What are he's doing? I just told him he comes back in one piece. It's a terrible one piece. That's a bomb sailor. He does basic harbor work, like loading and unloading. He's kind of grub, but he seems to have a decent advice. Pretty okay guy all around. Listen, mate, you're on also struggle. You don't keep your eyes peeled. This is road poor after all. The town's wild and with crooks, thieves, and hooligans. You better know your place. Know your place. That's Bomberto. He, he, every one of these guys, even the 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 ba bombs, which aren't unique from each other, all have unique shit though. Ba bombs are small, but he's a super high worker. Doesn't just say, say it either. He's loads and unloads stuff. Look at those bustles. <laughs> I feel bad for all these people who have no arms, like you, and, and a bomb. Oh, yeah, we all ships from all over the blooming world coming out and out of here. Well, where do you call them? Yeah, Longshoremen? We load them and unload cork all day. How much corkney can I put in my voice? <laughs> How corkney can I go? By the sound of it, something bad happened with this sailor. Now he hates the sea. Sounds so sad. I wonder what he thinks about when he looks out at the ocean. Now that you care, but I give all my life's dreams. Now to stare at the sea and butts want to fucking die. <laughs> well, this game's a bit of a downer. <laughs> Walk around alone. Wait for a ship that never returns. Life stinks, you know that? And then one day we're all just gonna drop dead. What the hell? I thought I, I said I was gonna play this game because I thought it was uplifting and shit. This is depressing me. Fuck this. I'm gonna go kill myself now. Bye bye. Wee! Oh, what the hell? Why am I the only one to get hurt? Why did you get hit by the, the chain chop? Fuck this game. Can't even kill myself the way I want. And kill my party member along with me. Ah. I can hate myself here. Hey, uh, uh. Oh, God. That would be more good if I could somehow hang around. Oh, God. My nose is stuck on it. <laughs> ah, ah. Is there really no way for me to get my money back? That's going to suck that, like, you're stuck in an obligatory cutscene and to get all your money stolen like that. Or half of it. Seriously, I would have spent a bunch of it if I realized I was going to lose half of it. I figured, I figured maybe, well, if you, like, walk around, you could find the guy and then get it back. But and maybe I can, but I don't see him anywhere. Hey, you big old Rube. It ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a car might go down to the tack. Begin with a little longer. Like me. Bugga, bugga, bugga. Ah! That's a goon for his goomba. It's kind of shady, I guess, but he's cool. People call him a fixer. You know, guy can make any problem just go away. I don't understand. How, how are you knowing this about everyone? We, you just met these people. And you just came out too. I don't know. I just, just look at things that I know, all right? That's just what I do. I'm the book girl. Okay, whatever. All right, what do we got here? This Ropor's east side. He's considered dangerous here even for Ropor. This is the Ishnail's turf. He's the leader of a band of thieves called the Robos. Again, you can also find Mer Merlin here. He can help your partners level up. So it's definitely too rough a place for a girl like me to walk alone. Mm. Oh, don't say it like that, please. Yeah, to bow up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. Ah, right, fine. Jeez. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you, if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner do you want me to level up? Power up, huh? Don't have any shine sprites, be gone! Come back with more! Or any, even. But he was rude. Just gonna start the game. I just to start the game. What do you expect me to have? Hello, how's it going? Ah! Whoa, whoa, hold up now! You're an outsider! Past this point is the turf of Ishdale, and of the Robos, send coins to pass through. You try to pass without a pain, I'm afraid I'll have to whip you up, whip you up, but good. Fine, I'm paying, I'm paying. I could take you. What? You gotta be kidding me. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. I'm gonna fuck this guy up, here we go. I just realized we're like on a stage in an audience that nobody's watching. Uh, okay. Uh, what's triangle? Oh, okay. Hey, you do it. I already hurt. Yeah, because you jumped in the wall like an idiot. I wanted to die. I, you can blame me. All right. Head bonk. Head bonk enemies with a... Or attack enemies with a head bonk. Tattle. Uh, I guess... His name is Gus. Oh, lice... Li Whoa! You know... Oh, oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I have a time limit, apparently. Okay, we're learning things on the fly. It's all good. I'm going to step on you now. Ow, I hurt my foot. Shit. Apparently, that's the thing I can... Ow. Oh, God. He's fucking me up already. Okay, let's so, uh, try that again. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take totals from everyone. Max HP is 20, attack is 3, defense is 0. Oh, no, he's pretty tough. Oh, fuck. Oh, and I told you a million times. That pointy spear on his head... <laughs> I've told me a million times. You didn't tell me at all. Why do you think I just hurt my foot? Pointy spear of his hurt is hurt if you stomp on it. What if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year? Talk about a workaholic. Oh, now I can see exactly how much HP he has. Cool. 
Oh, I didn't even hurt him at all when I did that. I just hurt myself. Cool. All right. Let's uh, let's actually start, try kicking his ass now. Fuck you. Ow. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Uh oh, man. This is uh this is not going good. Can I do this and not hurt myself? No, I can't. Okay, so I'm the only one that can actually do anything. Use item on Goombella. I think I bought some some stuff. There you go. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this guy, though, to be honest. Ow, this guy's fucking me up. Huh? I hurt? You have no chance of beating me. Trust me. So you better run. Yeah, if you don't, seriously, it'll be game over for you. You just run from top of this menu. So it's best to run. Fuck you. I got you. I can take you down. I'm gonna get you. Fuck your shit. Defend. Be my meat shield. Fuck you. I'm gonna kill this asshole. We're fine. We're doing okay. We're fine. Oh, this is uh, not looking good here. I should have bought some more health items here. Defend. Oh, I fucking dead. Oh. Is this just game over if I die? It is. I told you, asshole! Don't make me kill you! <laughs> well, I guess you're right. Well, that's it. <laughs> game over, guys. Hope you all enjoyed Let's Play. <laughs> and then Mario died. The end! You know, I think I could beat him if I, if I had some health items with me, though. I don't know if it's worthwhile. Also, I hurt myself a few times trying to do it, but the only one who could do any damage is Mario with his hammer. Oh, wait. Is this before I uh, lost all my money? It is. Fuck yeah. Let's go buy some shit. Buy this fire flower. I'm going to light that guy the fuck up. Buy some of this shit. Save enough points. Uh, Vern. Oh, this mushroom. I can't carry anything else. What? Oh, no. I oh, I have a limited inventory. Bitch. Ah. <laughs> uh... That sucks. All right, well, I spent some of my money at least. Is it only gonna take half now of what I've got or is it gonna be like all my money? She said it was half of my cash, so let's see. I got 44, so it should be 22, right? Yeah, there we go, ha! In your face, I said game the system! All right, I'm gonna fuck this fucking up. You guys who are watching this shit, I'm gonna light this guy on fire, yeah, I go. Attacks all enemies. I'm gonna use on this one guy. Do I have to do some gameplay gimmick or no, I'm just gonna do it, boom! Three whole damage. Okay, not as much as I hope, but okay, I'll take it. All right, I wonder if I put them in the front, if they'll... It, if, it, does it matter where they stand? I guess it doesn't. No. You can attack the person behind me, so it doesn't matter. So if I do this, it just determines who I'm picking or who I'm controlling at the moment. Kubella's gonna be my take. Oh, wait. I gotta, I gotta scan him again. No chance. I'll show you, asshole. Something fell on his head for some reason. Oh, that's what fell on us earlier, too. Why'd it fall on him? Is it just like some random stage equipment falling out on us? Is it just random? I have no idea. Give me the mushroom. Ah! How is this worthwhile what I'm doing right now? Fuck you, Bert. I'm giving you the Bert. Okay, I think we have Bert hurting now. I heal myself, you heal yourself, we all good. I don't know though. Maybe it does determine what row it's on because if I think he when he does that running attack, I think it can only hit the person in the front row. Fuck your shit! So give me that motherfucking EXP. So not enough to level me up though. What the hell? Bro, you got know, video game heroes always put the little stuff. It's ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> excuse me? Yeah, fuck your fourth wall. And then violence slows everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? Oh, cool. I never have to deal with him again, hopefully. Did I go in this house yet? I don't think I did. Oh, there's the guy we're looking for. I didn't even have to kill that dude. Oh, whatever. Oh, ha! There you are! Press Franklin! Oh, I think I'm dying. I'm over here painting. <laughs> you actually see us painting on the map, too. <laughs> Who's it? Yeah! Who's there? Who wants me? Ah! Ah, uh, yes, you. Now, you. Ah. Uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Ah, uh, it's not Gumbriel. Ah, uh, it's not Liza Goom. Liza Goom. Ah, I've got it. You're Goombella, aren't you? You're in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, 
Oh, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Gabella, a junior at, uh, at you, Goom. Go, Goom! <laughs> of course, I remember you. Not to look to my own horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out of my mind because you are such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is, uh... <gasps> Why haven't played a Mario game? Come on, Fessa! Mar Mario, Fessa, he's Mario! You know who the famous one? Ah, oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't ever had a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of error brings you to all the way to a place like this? We hope you tell us what the legendary treasure said to be below road port. I don't think anybody knew anything about it. It would be you. You would, Professor, frankly. I can. And don't call me Shirley. What? Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study the very subject. Why do you take Tykes one to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that it, most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary church truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point. Well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Many! Some say it's infinite, infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item, and others say it's a very popular anime. Some book says it's actually a monster, while others say it claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously impossible to divine the truth among them. Or maybe it's just some epic last boss. Who knows? But all agree at one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. Oh, it's always the seven of fucking something, huh? Okay. You mean the crystal stars, that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, collect the seven Dragon Balls or whatever, and summon the eternal dragon. Hold the magical babble up before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way to lead to the stones of yesterday day. Yeah. I know our prince says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Ah, correct. And the thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map is lost. If only we had that map! What would you have, Professor? Well, now we exactly borrow us magical map. Yes, I have it right here. What? Hopping, 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 hopping a boner! Really? You. You actually have it? Could, could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Mine! Astounding, this is it! The real fucking thing! The one and only magical map! Thank you, I'm very excited. I can be can't tell! You, son, are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful, even. With this, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this a lot before the legendary door. Wherever the fucking dicks it is. Right on, Professor! Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here Then go battle Mario? Off we must go, assistant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. I'm coming with you. I'm your new party member. No, no I guess I'm not. I'm just, a, I'm just an old guy who's gonna follow you everywhere. Okay, cool. I bet you didn't know this old rotten thing came off, did ya? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, that was easy. Uh, I saw a pipe, and you know I like I like my pipes. Now do me a favor and pass the doobie. We use this pipe to get down to the city under the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. But I just unlocked this way. I want to go. Oh, hey, are you the guy who stole my money? Is East Rogue Port? The certified Ishnay on his crew of ro robos. He sat out running down, can't even tell if these buildings are vacant or not. Get down here. You darn better have a compelling reason to be here. I want my money back. The Trope Center is the only place that side has other towns to come to. The place is open when you're in the neighborhood. You should hop in. Trouble Center. I'm out of the office. Please come again. Ah, uh, come on. Ah! Why the hell can I always walk off the stupid bridge? Ah, right, you and I are both very tired now. Uh, there's nothing even over here. Why did I kill that guy for? Ah! There was jack shit over here. I just spent time murdering somebody for no reason. There's a chest down there, too. How do I get to you? Oh, there's that platform. I don't know. All right, I think we better go stay at the inn or something. Before we drop mother flipping dead. Okay, guys. I think this is probably a good place to end things here for now. I don't usually like the, the first episode of a series be like super fucking long. If I can help it, so. I think we'll stop here for now. But I'm enjoying it so far. It's very, uh, it's very interesting. It's very cute. I will say uh, it seems fairly basic, at least in the main story of finding the legendary treasure and Princess Peach probably got kidnapped by Bowser. But the setting is very unique, I will say. I'll be curious to see uh, where it goes from here. 
But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this first episode. Let me know if you're excited about this series. And if you are, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe for an already come picky penguin. Boy, this sale P. Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Oh, hey, I just realized there's hotkeys here. Oh, that's convenient. I didn't even see that until I stood still for a bit. Hey, all right, cool. Anyway, I look forward to checking out more of this game, guys. And as always, till next time, Piggy Penguins, stay classy.